What is up guys and welcome back here to our brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, slowly evolving channel. We are back with another video about Blackpink, not another song at this time. We are going to watch the beginner's guide to Blackpink, which is, uh, I believe, really helpful for me in my situation. I only know Jenny. I only know Jenny because she has a little birthmark over her left eye and... She's blonde at the moment, but they are changing like colors in every single video like four or five times and I do not can understand how the hell you can difference between them. Help me. So I believe the beginner's guide should be really helpful for me. Um, I guess they are going to give me a little backstory, um, some facts about each person, like um, yeah, the group exists like Bam, 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 and they have won this award and this award and blah 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 um, hopefully it uh, should be helpful I guess so um, enough with dancing for today I believe uh, well maybe they're playing some of the tracks a few seconds um, and then I'm gonna dance the hell out of my shoulders you um, know me that way uh, a beginner's guide to blackpink who is who um, eight minutes so let's just watch it and I hope after this video I can point out in every video. Oh, yeah, there's Jisoo. Oh, there's Rose. That's Rose. I know her um, Hopefully, hopefully that's what Lisa it. and Rose. Dang it. Oh, oh It's Rose not Rose She's pronounced Rose. Oh damn. I called her Rose in like the last two videos Wait, are they making a test? Oh, no, 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 no. They're not making the test. They're explaining. They're explaining good. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera and say it. How do four girls living in four different countries with only nine songs to their name become- Oh, wait, wait, what? What? All right. I've learned like in four seconds so much about them. They are all living in different countries? Like in which countries? Which countries are they from? Japan? Thailand? Australia? She's from Australia? Damn. And what's over there? New Zealand? What? Like, okay, they are living in Australia and New Zealand, but they are not from New Zealand and Australia, I believe. Damn, alright. And just nine, nine songs are published until now. Four different countries with only nine songs to their name become the most viewed K-pop group of all time, perform at the largest American music festival, and sign to the same label as Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, what? and Maroon 5. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, Adam Levine is beautiful as always. Um, holy shit. I don't know why, but I got legit goose goosebumps again. I, I get goosebumps when I, when I hear uh, stuff like that, so... Bum, 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 bum. Um, Damn, like I've, I've heard in the comments, um, I don't know who of you was uh, it was, but it was a a really, a really beautiful sub subscriber I heard, um, who told me that they performed at Coachella, I knew that, but they are at the same label as Lena Gomez, Maroon 5 and Lady Gaga, and there is the biggest K-pop group of all time, as with, with the most um, views, which is pretty strong. I thought BTS was like unbeatable, but I guess not anymore. Uh, it's time to welcome Blackpink to your area Damn. on today's beginner's guide to Blackpink. This K-pop... <laughs> <laughs> Blackpink has four members. All right. Jisoo, Ginny, Rosé, and Lisa. They debut... Okay, Rosé. Damn, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, I should not record like too many videos in one day because in the last two videos i called her rose damn it in 2016 under the yg entertainment company but all the cool kids just call it yg fans of blackpink are called blinks Blinks. all you have to do Blinks. is switch together black and pink and you'll get the picture i think <laughs> from the very beginning black all right um i'm a i'm a huge blink i guess i'm a huge blink I have to admit it, I have to admit it. ...of Blackpink are called Blinks. Blinks! All you have to do is squish together black and pink and you'll get the picture, I think. <laughs> From the very beginning, Blackpink's image has been edgy, cool, and yeah. forward-thinking. <laughs> picture lots of rapping. Lots of dancing. Declarations of female power. And hair oh, flips. Yes. Lots and lots of hair flips. So, let's meet the powerful ladies of Blackpink. 
Damn it! Jisoo is the oldest member of Blackpink. She is also the only one born and raised in South Korea. Jisoo right. is one of Blackpink's lead vocalists. She's also the weirdest member. By far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. I, I believe there is a TV show or like a a internet soap kinda like this stuff. We have to watch it. We have to we have to watch it. I, I want to watch it. Mm -hmm. Jisoo has become well known for her gorgeous face and her childlike and friendly personality. She's one of the groups Aww. designated visuals, which just means she's hot. Jenny is the first member. She's she's more cute than hot, I would say. Like, she's really cute. She's really cute. Friendly personality. But she's also, one of the also groups hot. designated visuals, which just means she's hot. Jenny is the first member of Blackpink to go solo. So la 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 la. She was born oh. in South Korea and grew up. So Jenny published at least one track solo. All right. We have to watch that also. Up in New Zealand. Do you know any citizen in New Zealand? Oh. Jenny's stone cold gaze and fierce rapping abilities quickly gave her the title of a diva. Though she would argue that she's no diva at all. Hi, <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Rose's smoky voice right. and hipster chic style makes her the indie darling of Blackpink. Think Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, but with the best uh, Spotify playlist you've ever. Powerpuff Girls, I consumed, I, I consumed the whole show in my childhood. It was great. Her. Do you want me to? I really, really, really to the left, to the left. Damn, she has a beautiful voice. Dang it. If you're singing along to the hook of any Blackpink song, you're most likely singing along with main vocalist Rosé. Rosé was oh. born in New Zealand, but raised in Australia among the kangaroos. Good eye, mate. Lisa is the youngest member of Blackpink. But you never guessed it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> Damn it. Like, tell me how old they are. They are all over 18. Yeah, they, they have to be over 18. Hopefully. Good eye, mate. They are, Lisa they are. Is the youngest member of they Blackpink. are. But you never guessed it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> oh my god. What? That's just like acting 101. You never guessed it if you saw her on stage. <laughs> her otherworldly dancing abilities have earned La Lisa international clout. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fans all around the world are obsessed with this girl. Who is she? What is she doing? Oh my god, I love her. She's so cute. Plus, the way she can spit bars, it's like her and Jenny are a present day salt and pepper. Pick. Right, so so Lisa and Jenny are like the the rappers in the group. And Rose, uh, sorry again for the wrong pronunciation in the other videos. Um, Rose and Yiso are like the main vocalists. Alright, I got that. What? Oh, <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Lisa, Lisa is from Thailand. Thailand! In case you haven't caught on already, Blackpink is the revolution. Blackpink has over 20 million subscribers on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oprah doesn't even have that. And they're growing. They're the highest they're charting growing. female K pop act on the US Billboard charts. And they're going to Coachella in like a week. How did they do all of that with literally nine songs? Blackpink's rise to fame can be traced back to. So, okay, they, they're started like 2016. 2016, like. Dang. In just three years, three and a half years, they're pretty much taking over the K-pop world. Songs. Blackpink's rise to fame can be traced back to three main factors. First is their pre-debut hype. Before Blackpink became Blackpink, they were Jisoo, Jenny, Rose, and Lisa. Four young Damn it. Alright. Well, they're they're looking cute though, anyway. They're looking cute. Young trainees under YG Entertainment. In K-pop, becoming a trainee is similar to signing a contract with a Hollywood studio. In both situations, you first pass an audition. Then, your company keeps you on retainer while you perfect your marketable skills like singing, dancing, public speaking, and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> then, if your company finds a good fit for you, they will debut you to the public as an artist or group. Back in the golden age of Hollywood, okay. the biggest studios were MGM, Paramount, Warner Bros. In modern day K-pop, however, the big entertainment companies are SM, JYP, SM, and JYP? YG. YG. They're also known as the Big Three. The Big Three. The Big Three. All right. Uh, um. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A major reason for Blackpink's. 
Oh god, I forgot like half of the information of the video already, but I know that they're pretty sick that they're at signed at YG. Yeah. And that they put them together. Like I've heard stories of uh I believe it was BTS. Like they're like the contract doesn't let them do anything at the free time time they're passing out on stage and that is that it is kind of dangerous to sign those contracts um i hope i really really hope blackpink um are in a good spot there and are not in such a deep bad contract um but they're looking happy um so i hope and i guess they're doing well Early popularity was the grand mythology of YG and his girl groups. YG's first big girl group was 2NE1. They were a majorly popular group that became known around the world. What's the name of the group again? 2NE1. Uh, Take a look. 2NE1, alright. Seriously, who was gonna follow up that? Therefore, Blackpink was entering a sacred space by even debuting. The second reason for Blackpink's success is Teddy Park. The in-house producer at YG named Teddy Park has helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Boom by all. Oh, all right, he's a producer. He's a producer. Damn it, Teddy Park, all right, Teddy Park. I have to remember this name. Named Teddy Park Teddy has Park. helped to create all of Blackpink's nine songs. Damn! Boom by all, whistle, playing with fire, stay as if it's your last, do da 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 forever young, really, and see you later. As well as all of their new songs. Kill this love, don't know what to do, kick it, and hope not. And let's not forget about Little Miss Jenny's solo. Having one lead producer helps give Blackpink's music a distinct color and vibe. You know it's a Blackpink song within the first five seconds of turning on the radio. Oh yeah. Or else... Turning on the radio? K-pop is in the radio? Like, in, in Germany, rap isn't isn't played on the radio like you're not going to hear rap track on the general radio stations like there may be there, there's just like one radio station jam fm which is playing rap and you're not you're not going to find a radio station in germany which is playing k-pop you're not going to find one they're not on the radio that day <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Their music videos are also extremely high budget. Like, oh, yeah. extremely. Extremely. All of the like, extreme, extremely. This order creates a Blackpink universe, kept vacuum sealed from the whims of other music styles and schedules that quickly turned these four trainees into untouchable icons. Finally, oh, yeah. each member of Blackpink was handpicked and carefully balanced so that each one has a reason to shine. The small number of members and their distinct talents and personalities have given each one international first name recognition. This means that if I say Blackpink, chances are a fan will picture more than just a group. They'll picture individuals, moments, yeah. and movements. What makes 100% right. 100% right. That is that is that is a feeling that I try to describe in my first three reactions to blackpink it's more than than just a group you want to know anything about them like you want to know every little detail about them and you want to you, you just yeah want to experience them in a tv show or you want to look behind the scenes uh, because the characters of them are so different from each and so likable and kind of untouchable so you you just want to consume everything they're putting out makes this group so special is how these women and their fans buy into their own hype girl groups don't usually find the success that boy groups seem to have so easily they face sexism ageism and the overwhelming pressure to measure up to a million different unrealistic standards but blackpink has broken the mold by recruiting a large fan base of mostly women women who want to see pop mostly stars women? that have a voice really really all right but I'm cool. I'm cool with it. It's cool to be one of the uh, lower mass. It's cool to be one of the few male blinks. By recruiting a large fan base of mostly women. Women who want to see pop stars that have a voice and a vision, not just a pretty smile. So, why do we love these girls so much? I think the answer is clear. <laughs> so, what's all the hype about, right? Sis, I think it's in the pudding. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Blackpink. That was a if great video. A lot, please share this with someone who doesn't know that much about Blackpink. All right, I give it a thumbs up.
it was a really good video. It just explained it's, it's explained the the basic idea from Blackpink. Um, it uh, gave me a pretty decent look into um, the evolution of Blackpink. At least I know that they are really really huge. Um, that they are made um, by uh, YG. Um, they uh, trained them. They picked them. And they market them while well, they are still marketing them. Um, Jenny got this solo, uh, which we are also going to watch, of course. Um, and they have only nine tracks. Well, with Kill This Love, I, I believe Kill This Love is pretty new and should be the tenth track they put out so far. Um, if you are not counting Jenny's solo, um, yeah, we are, we are going to watch every single track of them, and. I guess there are new tracks coming out like in the next few weeks and months. So we have uh, new content. Um, I'm going to do some research just about a possible TV show or like, or um, some videos, some vlogs maybe. I don't know what um, they, they showed some clips in this video here where like they were, um, I don't know what. They were just like hanging out, chilling, some behind the scenes footage. Um, they were hiking, I believe, in a clip. Um, or you can just tell me in the comments um, where I can find these videos, these clips. Um, I really want to watch them. I want to get to know the persons behind Blackpink, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm a blink. What up? <laughs> All right. So, um, tell me down in the comments below since when you are a blink. Um, I'm a little bit late, I guess. I'm a little bit late, but I have to say I'm one of the few male blinks. So maybe the men are just needing some time to uh, compress and understand Blackpink. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, thank you um, again for the kind comments and for the suggestion and uh, huge shout outs to gay pop oh ah i i see i see <laughs> shout outs to gay pop for uh, the um, beginner's guide to blackpink it really helped me out um yeah and i would say we are going to see us in a next video which comes out yeah tomorrow that was it for me um as always stay fresh and bye